Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Marks and Spencer's try on haul. So let's get cracking. Hello, 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 hello. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really, really well. Um, the weather is cooling down a little bit as the day is progressing. I'm probably going to run out of daylight filming today, but I'm determined to keep going as long as I can because at least I'm cooling down a bit. Okay, right. Now, uh, also, I have got a runny nose because I think I've got a bit of air fever. Where's my tissue gone? Okay, sniff instead. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll just sniff. All right. I've actually got some hair fever tablets now. I'm thinking about it, but um, yeah, I'll get me myself one in a bit. So I placed an order for um, Max and Spencer's. Okay, and I also went into store. Now, when I went into store, I did just pick up one thing, um, which I absolutely love. But I am aware I've paid sort of quite a high price for it, so I really need some advice on whether I've just spent money that I didn't need to spend really. But in all honesty, I've only got black handbags, right? This is my problem. All right, I've got black handbags. And I've got um, most of my sandals that I wear at this time of year when I'm not at work, you know, because when I'm at work, I'll just wear shoe shoes or, or I don't know what I'm going to be able to wear at my new place, but I've, I'm taking a pair of sandals with me. Uh, but we'll see what they'll let me wear anyway. So um, when I'm not at work, I wear... I've got a pair of like um, black sandals that my daughter bought me for Christmas a couple of years ago, which are Doc Martin sandals. Okay, which I absolutely love. In fact, they're down here somewhere. Hang on, where are they? These. Okay. But they do dye my feet black. <laughs> right, this is the only problem with them. So where these bands go over your feet, they do dye it black. Yeah. Look, right, these are there. I absolutely love these sandals. I took them off when I came in. Right, so I bought myself some sandals at Primark and also at Next that are not black, okay. Problem with that is I've only got black handbags, so I bought myself some brown and some beige colour sandals, sort of tan colour, um, and I needed an handbag. So when I went into Marks and Spencer's, I bought this. Okay, let me put my gigs on. Hang on a minute. Right, I went and bought this. I just absolutely loved it, but... The reason it's still got a tag on is because when I got home, I thought, yeah, that that was a ridiculous price for it, Kim. £29.50 I paid for this. Is that too much? Have I paid over odds for this little wicker handbag with a bit of, like, sort of tan going round and a tan strap? Okay. I love it. But is it, have I paid over odds? That's the question. Since why I'm actually worn it out or anything or taking the tag off it, because I'm slightly concerned. Let me know what you think, won't you? I really, really love it. I loved the combination of this, like, uh, woven stuff, wickery stuff, and then this tan bit. Um, but I don't know whether I've overpaid for it. The sandals that I got it to go with together came to nearly the same price <laughs> as the bag. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right, that's why I'm slightly worried. So, yeah, I need advice on that. Is it too pricey for that bag? Is it worth it? I'll probably use it year after year after year. That's the thing. So, I do absolutely love it. Really, what I'm asking you is, will you give me permission to keep it? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Please enable me to keep this, right? To spend the money on something that I know I've overpaid for, but nonetheless... Um, I would really like to keep. So if there are any enablers out there, can you please enable me to keep this? Because I really need it, the help, you know. But anyway, that's what I bought. I just loved it. I really loved it. Yeah, I want to keep it. I think I want to keep it, you know, guys. But um, any enablers, can you help me? Any, can you enable me <laughs> to feel better about the fact that I'm keeping this £30 handbag that is basically half straw? Okay, right, yeah, yeah, there we go. So that's the first thing I bought. Then I placed an order online because you got this for 25 quid. Hang on. This little baggie full of goodies, which I've had a look in, but I'm going to show you anyway. Now it said, it's called the Summer Beauty Bag. It said that this had a contents value 170 quid or something like that. So I never know about that because... 
you know, having been a former sort of glossy box and rocker box subscriber, they come up with some right wacky prices. But I have really, really enjoyed Marks and Spencer's other sort of bags and boxes that I've got in the past. So I paid £25 for it and you just had to, you bought it if you bought something else, you know, you could buy this as well. So let's have a wee look what's inside it, right? It's a really pretty bag. It's very, very jazzy. Um, and it's got these like purpley um, zip pull things on it. Let's open it. Oop, all the way around. Let's see what's inside it. So first up you get, what is this? This is a mist for your face and body uh, by Blossom and Bloom. Um, isn't that a Blossom and Bloom where you get like, for people who are pregnant? I never know, anyway. I'm not big into misting my face, although in the hot weather, maybe it's um, something that I might get into. You know what I'm sat on a night time, sweating, right? I might actually spray myself with some of this. But anyway, that's my first thing. Then I got this. Discover, I think it's like perfume this. Soft iris. Let's have a look. I'm almost certain it's a perfume. Yeah, it is, look. Little perfume. That'd be nice. Could become my work perfume. Let's have a little spray. Sorry, I'm there. I sprayed it on my bad arm and I can't get my bad arm onto my face. That's a bit ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. I like it. You know, it's not Chanel number five, but I like it. Yeah, I do like it. So um, I'll probably take that into work, put it in my locker and that'll be nice. So there's that one. I mean, they're worth 25 quid probably there. Then I've got this Perfect Legs Skin Miracle. Oh my God, they haven't seen my legs. A tinted multivitamin serum with caramel to prep, polish and glow. Right. Whack a bit of that on if, you've, if you're getting your lower half of your legs out. That's what that's for. Mm, might give it a go. Might give it a go. I quite don't mind this works at all. So, And, you know, my legs, goodness knows, could do with a bit of colour on them. Then next up is this one. Beach. Is this um, a mascara? Ico waterproof mascara. Little wee one. Nice. That'd be great if you are going on holiday. I'm not going anywhere on holiday. You know, I'm working, <laughs> keep a roof over me, I'd have been, having been made redundant, that's what I'm doing. But one one day, maybe I'll go on holiday, you know. But anyway, in the meantime, I've got a little holiday size uh, mascara. I'll keep that for when the mascara I'm currently using, which incidentally I did get out of the Marks and Spencer's um, advent calendar. I'm still using my, I can't remember who it's by, but anyway, I love this mascara that I use. Then next up, I've got this Pixie by Petra lippy, looks like, looks suspicious like a lippy. I won't go into it, you know what I mean? But it looks like it's a nice colour. Yeah, that'll be all right on me, that one. So nice. I won't open it at this point. A Veda Botanical Repair, something for your hair, that one. I mean, ends of my hair look like, oh, look at state of them. Definitely could use that, so fabulous. Next up, what's this one? Oh my goodness, I've got something from Clinique. Great. Dramatically different moisturising lotion. What's different about it? I don't know. I'll let you know if I put it on, right? If I put it on, and it completely sucks all the moisture out of my face. That would be dramatically different for a moisturising lotion, wouldn't it? But yeah, does it smell nice? That's the question. Oh, all I can smell is that perfume. Oh, it's, it's, I'm sure it'll be lovely. It's Clinique, isn't it? So, yeah, I like the yellow colour. Just going to have a drink of water while I'm on. Do you know, I had a panini at dinner time and, um, you know, like roasted vegetable panini, it's been repeating on me ever since, so I'm having to guzzle loads of water. And then getting, I've got some elasticizer from Philip Kingsley. Great. What else have I got in here? I've got three more things, blinking it. There are quite a lot of things. Uh, Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. What's this? Hair Strengthener. Another hair thing. Great. So you've got three hair things. Dr. Pawpaw. What is it? I don't really get on with Dr. Pawpaw. 
multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pawpaw. Okay, great. Is it a lip balm? Please let it be a lip balm. Be well happy if it is, because the one I'm using at the moment, as it, it is, look. Lip balm, fabulous. Right, that's exactly what I need, that. Stick that in my handbag, because I'm constantly getting cuts at the side of my mouth. And also, my lips look like, you know, the, all the moisture's gone and they're all peeling. So, and then last up, I've got this little thing. Goodness knows what this is. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, that's jazzy, blinking Nora. Well, at least it's not pink, it's a nail zinc, uh, nail varnish. I'll get that whacked on my toenails. That'll be fabulous, won't it, for summer? Oh, I quite like it. It's like the um, Stabilo Boss colours. Right, what colours it say it is? Coral Street. No, it's Stabilo Boss Red Orange. That, right, okay. My kids will know what I'm talking about. You know those highlighter pens? That's what that is. Yeah, but at least it's not pink. I don't think that's a bad bag for like 25 quid. And I got all of that um, because I ordered some online, you know what I mean? So yeah, if you want that bag full of goodies, it's like 25 pound when you order some. So anyway, I'll show you the rest of my clothes. Okie dokie. So I bought this little camisole top. I'm slightly falling out with these camisole tops, if I'm honest, because I never seem to be able to find somewhere to go over the top of it. And I don't like having my scar out you know what i mean my scar looks pretty bad so um i always end up having to find something to put over top of them so we'll see what this is like i've got quite a few of them i don't know whether i need any more but it is very nice it's got adjustable straps it is just a camisole top sort of flares out it does cover a multitude of things around my middle um it's just I, I don't think i've got the quantity of things to go over the top of them that I think I need in order to justify buying another one. So we'll have to see about that one. I think I'm quite liking more of the t-shirt type tops um, that cover part of my scar, you know, since I did my arming. Um, you know, if you don't know what I mean, have a look back at some of the videos because I had a, quite a major uh, accident on my arm. But anyway, right, that's my first one. I'm a bit sort of like that about that one. Um, and if I take that back, I might feel slightly better about the um, the handbag. Mm? You see what I mean? Right. You'll note it didn't cross my mind not to buy the um, the toiletries bag for twenty five pounds. It only crossed my mind whether or, whether that bag, um, the handbag, were worth it. And there were only like four pounds fifty, four five pound between the two. Anyway, it is what it is. Then I ordered these. I bought these in a 14 regular and I bought them in a 14 because I knew they were going to be quite sort of rigid at the top. It's another pair of work pants because I'm not able to wear um, my leggings anymore at work. So it's all black pants. Now these are too thick and too good quality to be wearing at this time of year where I want thin and flowing because it's too warm. But they're absolutely brilliant, these, for um, sort of the winter. When it gets on to winter, I might buy myself some more of these. I bought them in the wide leg style, but they do these, um, Marx's ones, in all different styles. They do straight legs, they do tapered leg, all sorts. But I really like a wide leg. These were $17.50, and they're such good quality. There's no pockets or anything. But, and they are quite long, but I'll just show you part of the leg. They've got like a stitched or creased band going down the front. Is it just creased? Yeah. You know, it's like a, a line that you, um, that's that been sort of uh, ironed in going down the front. They're quite long real, and I got them in the wide leg. But like I say, if you're after a pair of work pants that have got elastic around the top, you can't go far wrong with these because you can get them in every different style. You know, straight leg, narrow leg, uh, wide leg, tapered, you name it, they've got it. And I think for $17.50, it's an out-and-out -out bargain. So no doubt I'll be keeping those just because I really, really like them for, you know, I need some um, more trouser trousers for work if I'm not allowed to wear leggings. So, yeah, I'm, I, I'll give those a go. If I like them, I'll start building up a stock of them for when it gets on to the bad weather. Right, next up, I bought a whole load of T-shirts. 
Did I? Yeah, I did. Right, first I got this pink one that's got little hearts on it. I love these like nylon-y, viscose um, t-shirts from Marxies. So it's just got a round neck, lower at the front, sort of scoop neck at the front, fitted in the sleeve, and it is in this sort of um, polyester type fabric. But what I love about them is wash and dry them in no time and they come out looking brand new. You know, it, honestly, it does not look like you've worn them when they come out at wash. This I bought in a size 14, it was £9.50. But I'm almost certain there's like an offer on if you buy two, you know, you get a bit of money off them. So, really likes it. But when now it's come, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the pink. But I'll try it on anyway and we'll see how it goes. Next up, I bought this one. Don't like this pattern at all. This is not a bit of me. Looked nice on the website, but really, really don't. I'm not feeling it now. I've got it. So this one's got like orange, green, pink, blue, all sort of jazziness going over it. I just don't like it. It's the same style as the other one, same price. Um, but And I bought it in the same size, but I just don't like that. That's not a bit of me at all, that one. So that one, I'm afraid, will probably be going back. But I will still try it on, you know. And then I bought this green one, which I absolutely out and out love. It's like a tie-dye one, but it going across in stripes. Absolutely love alt green. Bought this exactly the same. It was for a size 14, £9.50. Love it. Really, really love it. Might wait till it's not quite so sweltering to wear this because um yeah it is like a, like i say a polyester it's not a cotton like this next one that i'm wearing but i just thought it'd be nice you know and to be honest i bought a pair of um green collots from next that i kept ended up keeping and i wanted some more green tops to go with and i didn't know which color of green these would be when i got them so anyway i got this one but I also bought this one. Now I've got this in black and white and I, it's got a slightly different pattern, but I absolutely love it. So it's like, um, like a vest type top with a scoop neck, um, obviously no sleeves and then goes down to quite a long body. I think in all honesty, this will be the color that goes with those collots. Maybe. I think this will probably go with the collots better than this one. Um, but really, really liked it. So this one I bought in a size 14, it was £7.50. I've got the black and white one, I absolutely love it. I've worn that a couple of times already. So I'm gonna try this one on, see whether this is um, just as nice, and if it is, I'll be keeping that one. So anyway, those are all my things from Marks and Spencers. Um, yeah, uh, if you can enable me to keep the bag, that would be really kind of you. But anyway, what I'm going to do is go away and try these on. I'll insert the try-ons now. Then I'll come back. Okay, so these are the work trousers, right? I like them. They're going to be great. Honestly, they fit me fine. Got loads of room in them. Um, going to buy myself some more of these, I think, for when it gets on to the cooler weather. Although I am absolutely melting at this point. Absolutely melting. Now, this is the problem with these tops. I love it, right, I do. But one, you can see my bra strap, and two, let me show you the back of my arm. Right, so I have to find something. When I wear anything like this, I have to put something over the top, and I just not, don't think I can be bothered doing it anymore. I think I'd rather have something with a little bit of a sleeve to cover um, my injuries, you know, my injured arm and what have you. Um, I don't want to go out and make a feature because that's all anybody says to me when I've got, you know, when it's out is, blooming it, that's the right scar or that's an impressive scar. It's become a thing now. Um, so I think this can go back. I, I don't think I want any more sort of spaghetti strap ones. I've got enough of them. If I need one, I have got one. I don't think I need any more. So this can go back. For all like the black and white, I haven't got enough boob either to get an underwired, I mean, a, um, a strapless bra that will, um, you know, sort of fit me. My boobs are too wide and too small, that's the problem. When I get um, a bra that's wide enough, the cups are massive on me. So it's just a bit of an issue, really, you know. 
Um, so I think this can go back, but I'll definitely be keeping these for the um, colder weather at work. They're going to be really comfy and uh, nice. Okay, so yeah, I might get some more of these as well. I'm going to keep these on while I try my t-shirts and the tops on. With that said, for all I much prefer this design um, to that other, you know, the one with the spaghetti straps, even though the straps are adjustable. I actually don't think I need any more like this either. Same problem, dodgy arm, you know, it becomes like the first thing people see when I walk away from them or turn around. So likewise, for all I really like this, I think this is going back as well. I'm sad about it because I really like my black and white one, but I have got the black and white one. Um, so I don't need another one. This can go back. I don't feel that nice in it either. I feel a bit washed out. Um, yeah, I do feel a bit washed out. I'm going to try one of the t-shirts on and show you what I mean about the t-shirts. You know, now it sort of at least covers a bit of it. You know, it's not quite so obvious when I wear like a t-shirt. I'll try another one on. Okay. By the time I'm finished, my hair is going to be out here, right? It's going to be so frizzy. But anyway, right, pink t-shirt. This, I don't like the colour of it very much at all. Um, but it covers loads of my arm. Can you see what I mean? Look, now, most of my arm's covered. So much better. It makes me feel so much better about it. You know, I actually love where this finishes. This feels longer than some of the other t-shirts that I bought from Max's. Um, so I might get over the colour just because it does feel like it covers this. These are black as well on here, aren't they? So um, you could wear this pink t-shirt with black trousers. Probably not these work trousers, but with a pair of black trousers, it'd be all right. Might end up keeping this, you know. This one covers me arm, lovely. It really does. I really like it. I didn't think I was going to, you know, I thought I was going to hate this pink. But because it covers my arm, I feel much better about it. Great. Wow, my hair's frizzy. Okay, right. I'm going to try the other ones on. I'm going to try the t-shirt. I don't think this one. I don't think I'm keeping this at all. I just don't like the pattern on it, you know, for me. Um, I'll show you it anyway. Right, this is the one I don't really like. Yeah, it's just too jazzy for me. It really is. Um, I don't like the combination of colours. I think there's so much white in this that you'd have to wear it with quite a light colour pair of trousers. And I, you know, I don't really like that. Um, I much prefer a darker. I think if that had been navy and not sort of French navy or whatever, royal blue, I would have felt all right with a pair of navy trousers, but with the colours that it's got in it, yeah, I just don't like it so much, you know. I really don't like it so much. Also, you can see through it, so you can see my belly through it. Um, show you the back. Yeah, sadly, this one's a no from me. Um, let me know what you think about that pink one, though, won't you, please? Because I'm not sure. I'm like this about it. I'm really not sure about it, you know. Um, so, but I'm, I'm excited to try this one on. Let's try the one on that I'm most excited about, the most, the jazzy green one. This is the one I'm pumped for. Okay, I like this one. Do I? Wait, I don't know. I thought I did, <laughs> but I'm not sure now I've got it on. Uh, I'm not sure. I love green, right? This is the thing. Absolutely love green, but I'm not sure about it. Where's those green trousers? Yeah, it's not gonna go with the green trousers. Absolutely not. They're the trousers that I'm trying to find some up for. I might just wear a white t-shirt with them, you know, and just stick with that. I think this is a bit too, uh, yeah, I don't like the horizontal stripes so much. Actually, out of them all, I think the one that I thought I wasn't going to like, which is the pink one with the hearts on, is the one I've actually liked. So, but let me know what you think, will you please? Does this look better or does the pink one look better? Or do, do they both look pants on me? There's the question. 
I've got quite a few tops, so, you know, I'm not like short of a top. You know, I'm not going to be going without if I don't have either of them. That's what I'm saying. Let me show you the back. It does cover my arm quite a lot. There's just the bottom bit of the scar comes out, which I do like. That's great about Max's t-shirts. That These are the relaxed fit t-shirts. FYI. Okay. Absolutely love the trousers. Definitely keeping the trousers, but I'm going to need advice on tops, etc., so um yeah and some enabling on bag you know i really really like the bag i think i'd be happy you know this is the truth take back all the tops keep the handbag there we go i've got it sorted now got it sorted take back all the tops and keep my lovely handbag yeah keep the handbag that's that's what i'm gonna do i think that is what i'm gonna do Unless everybody universally loves these tops, I think that's my plan. Look at me hair. Honestly, this is because of all moisture in the air that it's going back to being curly. Okay, okay. But I really love my bag. Really, really love it. So I think I'm just going to keep this, guys. And the, the trousers for work. All right, I'll hand you back. Right, okay. <laughs> so Marks and Spencers, I don't know what I'm doing right these are my thoughts i liked the i love the shape of the pink top and the green one okay the green t-shirt but what do they look like on me there's the question did i look rubbish in them i didn't like the pink one that had all the different colors on i think i made that quite clear and i'm not keeping any more vests but i'm not my arm looks shocking in them i need something that's got a little bit of a sleeve on it or a lot of sleeve on it you know um, otherwise, I'm only ending up wearing a cardigan over the top. And in the heat, you don't need it, do you? You know, um, I don't have a garden to go sit out in. I live in a flat. So it's not even like I can wear them to go sit out in a garden. So I'm not buying any more vests for summer. No chance. I don't mind having them for winter, where I'll definitely have some over the top of them, but not summer weight ones. So as far as the T-shirt goes, T-shirts go, my choice is those two, whether I keep the green stripy one or the pink one with the little hearts on it, because those were two, my two favourites. Yeah, I probably like the pink one against my better judgment, actually. When I first looked at them, I actually think I prefer the pink one. Now then, I love the trousers and would highly recommend those. If you need work trousers, they're not on the big side, I'm not going to lie. Um, if you're between sizes, I'd size up in them because... I'm sort of a 12 to 14, and the 14 is snug. You know, it is my size. But those trousers are really everywhere. For 17.50, I think they're really great work trousers. And if you want elasticated sort of waist and hips and things, perfect. I really like them, so I'm going to be keeping those, and I might buy myself some more for the winter. Um, when it gets nearer to the winter, I'm not buying any more now, but um, because I've got summer trousers for work. But I think I'll get some more of those for the winter. Um, so I'm keeping those. Uh, what else did I have? My handbag. Right, okay. Like I say, I need enabling for the handbag. I really do. It was nearly 30 quid. And it's straw. <laughs> it's straw. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Oh my goodness, what am I doing with life? How can you be sold straw for 30 quid? It, honestly, it's madness, isn't it? But you know, there are crackers people like me who will, who will go out and pay, you know. I paid for that in person. The wee lassie behind the till, I say that, she was my age. She said to me, um, don't set the tag off until you're certain you're keeping it. And I thought, oh, that's really nice of you to say. And then when I got out, I thought, is that because she's taken one look at this and thought, who's painted it? Why are you paying 30 quid for a bit of straw, for a straw bag? A silly woman, honestly. I did wonder afterwards. So, yeah, I probably need enabling or I need telling off. Tell me, Kim, take it back. It's not worth it. I'll wait for the consensus of opinion. It's not been my best, Marks and Spencers haul, has it? But I think sometimes I've got to try these things before I know whether I'm keeping them or not. You know what I mean? I think I'd have never ordered these things. I'd have constantly been thinking, maybe I should get some more of those T-shirts I've got from Max's, you know. 
Now I know I don't need to order any more of those because they're great for like winter. You know where you can wear some over the top, but they're quite hot in the summer. I prefer a cotton t-shirt in the summer. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I'm looking in bed and I can't wait to go lie on here. <laughs> I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye! be there in a minute, beds. <laughs>